Hi, I'm here at the Polar Bear Club, where people go ice swimming and then go relax in that hot sauna over there. But I'm not going there, not just yet, because today I'm gonna be coding on ice. Okay. This time the task is gonna be the collage conjecture. And I got this idea from a video from Veritasium. But anyway, let's see what programming language am I going to get today. It's Python. Shouldn't be too hard. So let me create a file here. Uh, program dot python and uh, I begin by defining a function I'll call it collat and it's going to take a number as an argument if this number is going to be even then we will divide it by two and dividing by two I'm using this double slash so that it converts it to an integer format Otherwise, we have floating point numbers and it just doesn't make sense. It's an even number anyway. Now, if the number is odd, then I'm going to return three times that number plus one. That's what the collats uh, does. It's basically halving a number if it's even and multiplying it by three and adding one if it's odd. Now, let's test with a number, say seven. And uh, you repeat doing these steps until the number is one. So while the number is different than one, I'm going to call uh, this function and uh, print it here so that we know that it actually works. Okay, I think this should be done. Let's see, I save the file, go to my console, uh, Python, Yes, okay, seems to work. So seven multiplied by three twenty one plus one twenty two divide by two eleven times three thirty three plus one thirty four divided by two seventeen times three fifty one plus one fifty two. It looks good, but it doesn't print the end result. So I wanted to also print in the end uh, one or the final end value here. Let's try it again. Yeah, and it's really interesting that we don't know if this kind of uh, sequence always ends up being at one. I remember that in the Veritasium video, there was uh, a statement that the highest number we tried was something like uh, two to the power of um, 68, I think it was. But this won't work if I try it here because the number is too big. I don't think Python supports some. Or does it? I don't know how, but it seems like Python can do it even with large numbers. Um, okay, I'm not that cold yet. So how about I try to uh, test Collat's uh, conjecture for numbers above this. So uh, let's start with this number. Uh, I'll rename this variable into x and then here let's have an infinite while loop uh, so while true this goes to the right and here I'm gonna say x plus plus so I increase the value of x and then n is equal to x because I'm gonna transform this n here during this this part okay so now if I try it again, I get an error because Python doesn't know this syntax. Uh, plus equals to one should should fix it now. Okay, good. But uh, I don't want to print everything, so um, let's comment out these lines and just say which number we are processing here. So uh, testing. 
print testing and uh, the number is n so that we know what are we currently testing and if the program hangs if the program starts to hang then we have found something that doesn't converge to one so we basically found a counter example for the Kovacs conjecture and it's not true now I'm not gonna wait here until that happens I don't think this is gonna happen anytime soon <laughs> So I'm going to the sauna now. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. And let me know what I should code here next. See you guys.